when we talk about dispersion, that's a big category that we want to fit for because a lot of times we get players that come in and they'll tell you, I, I hit the ball plenty far, I have enough club head speed, um, I just want to make better contact and I want to tighten up my dispersion. And so when, when that happens, we look at a several factors. So um, we obviously look at some technique, but we look at how fast that club is moving. We also blueprint that club. And so then we find out how well they were built what the frequency is, what are all the specs, you know, length, loft lie, etc. So if a player comes in with a lot of clip head speed and you blueprint their irons, but yet that shaft is playing really soft and maybe it's not the right profile of shaft, like it's increasing their height and spin. And then as it's softer, as shafts become softer um, for higher club head speed players, there's more droop and deflection. All those pieces add to dispersion. So the other thing we look at as fitters, as far as dispersion goes, is if a player has several degrees or a big wide gap between where their face is pointed, you know, which is club face angle, and then where their path is going in swing direction, that can lead to dispersion, okay? First and foremost, you have to help that player understand what kind of profile of shaft they need for their irons um, that will achieve optimal launch and, and ball flight and spin and things like that nature. Um, and then you have to look at how they're swinging, okay? Because if they have, if their skill level, if they're a higher handicap player and their skill level means, you know, they have a difficult time controlling the face and the path and it's, um, that adds to a wider dispersion, okay? But even for a, a medium to higher handicap, it's it's super important to help them understand that they need a proper shaft and club head combination that will give them their best case scenario to tighten up that dispersion. In our world as club fitters, you know, our goal is to make sure that each player um, is playing the ideal club for their speed, their technique, and what they desire. If that club's built perfectly for that player, it's much easier to hit the ball in the center of the face in the same spot consistently, which leads to similar ball speeds from shot to shot, which means they have a better chance to uh, carry the ball relatively or consistently the same distance. So talk with that fitter about you know, what, where are your misses? Are they typically to the right, typically to the left? And we'll figure out what's best for you and how to tighten up that dispersion and that grouping for you.